Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a little review slash tutorial on the Revlon 2-in-1 Styler. Now this thing has been everywhere recently. I see it all over Facebook, all over Instagram. Now I've had mine for a little over four months, so I think this is a perfect time to be able to give you guys a good honest review on the product because I wanted to be able to use it a ton before I gave you guys my thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna go jump in the shower, wash my hair, and then we'll get started. I always start with adding some kind of leave-in conditioner in my hair. Now this is a new one that I've been using for a couple months from Way, and I've really been liking it. I've let my hair air dry about 85% of the way through because you never want to go in with any kind of product or start blow drying your hair if you have sopping wet hair. Next I'm going in with this volumizing spray from the brand Moroccan Oil. This is a new product that I just got recently and it's maybe the second or third time that I've used it. But I like it because you can really go in and spray a bunch at the root and you don't have to worry about your hair feeling dirty or like there's too much product in your hair because it's actually super lightweight. I really get in there and scrub my scalp because I want to make sure that the product is evenly distributed throughout my entire head. And the last product I use in my hair is this heat protectant by Redken. You never ever want to forget this step because it's so important to protect your hair from any kind of heat that you're using from your straightener, your blow dryer, your curling iron, anything like that. Now I'm going to go in and separate my hair. I normally do about three sections. So here I'm just going to go ahead and leave out my bottom layer. The smaller amount of hair that you use every time you blow dry it, the more control you're going to be able to have and the more volume you're going to be able to create. I'm adding a little bit more of that Moroccan oil to the bottom layer there at the root to give it a little bit more volume once I start blow drying. Normally blow dry about two or three inch sections of hair at a time. And the little trick that I found that works really well because your roots always seem to be a little bit more wet than the ends of your hair is if you hold it on the root for just a second or two and then go ahead and drag it through the rest of your hair, it dries more evenly. As you're working through your hair, you really want to concentrate on lifting the Revlon Styler up and out away from your head. That's going to create the most volume. section right here how that little technique I told you guys about drying up and away from your head really creates a massive amount of volume. When I reach the last section of my hair I always blow dry the sections around my crown straight up and back and then for the rest of that top half I kind of just blow dry them all over like to the right to the left to the front to the back just to create a little bit more body and more movement and more volume.
Okay, so this is the final result. You can really see how much body and volume the styler gave to my hair. Now another little trick that I like to do is on day two or three, I'll run it back through just the top layer of my hair to just freshen it up and it really looks like it's a fresh hairstyle like you just blow dry. This thing is so convenient and so easy to use. It smooths your hair, straightens your hair, and blow dries your hair all at the same time so it really does cut your styling time down I would say almost in half because you could literally use this and you're out the door like you don't have to do anything else to your hair unless you wanted to so I mean I'll still spray like a little bit of dry shampoo or a little bit of like you know I'll style it a little bit extra but you really didn't have to if you didn't want to it's also designed to reduce heat damage to your hair now that's actually one of the cons that I was going to tell you guys about because this thing gets super super hot they have this piece on the end that you can grab while you're blow drying your hair to twist it because you do not want to touch this metal part because it gets extremely hot. So be ex be really careful, especially like if I don't turn this off at all. Like sometimes if I'm going like section by section, I'll turn it off while I'm pinning up the rest of my hair. But if I don't, by the time I get to the crown of my head, this thing is piping. Like you're gonna get a third degree burn for sure. So just make sure you're being extremely careful when you're using this, because it gets really hot. Now while we're on the cons of this product, I might as well let you guys know the other two that I had written down that I wanted to tell you guys about. Now, I actually read a bunch of reviews before I purchased this, and one of the main things that a lot of people said was that after only using it a, you know, a couple times, it broke. So I would be really careful with that. I specifically bought mine from Target after I read those reviews because I figured if I had it for a little while and it did end up breaking, they were more likely to take my return back than let's say Amazon because I know Amazon only has, I think they do like two weeks maybe or maybe a little bit longer, but I just wanted to ensure that if something did happen to it, I was able to return it because when I picked this thing up, it was like $60. I want to say you can get it at Target now for like 40 or 45 and I actually think they're on sale right now on Amazon for only $34.99. And now the last bad thing I have to say about it is that, I don't know if you could tell, but the bristles are starting to bend on the oval side, like on the high oval side. Not on like the flat side for some reason, but you can see it here. So I feel like eventually this thing's not going to like comb through my hair as easily as it does now and it might get more, you know, easily tangled. But I guess that's just something we're going to have to figure out along the way. But like I said, I've had this for four months. It's given me no problems so far. We'll see how long, how much longer it actually lasts. So in my opinion, I think this product is great for everyone, but it's going to be especially awesome for those girls out there who don't have the easiest time styling or blow drying their hair at home with like a round brush and a blow dryer. Because let's be honest, we're all not professional hairdressers out here and you do have to have a little bit of coordination to do the blow dryer and the round brush and I mean it's a lot your arms get tired like it's just it's a lot it's a lot going on so pick yourself up a Revlon 2-in-1 because this will make your life so much easier I promise you okay guys so we're all finished that completes the review slash tutorial on the Revlon 2-in-1 styler if you like this video please subscribe I would really appreciate it give it a thumbs up I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And that's a wrap.